you are known as one of the best futurists in the world, but you told me that you hate that and you hate being even called a futurist. Why is that? Um, first of all, I'm not keen on the term futurist. I'm not sure what that means. But I mean, part of it is that one of the most common failure modes that any large company has is that it's rate limited by the brain of the person who's running it. Because the person who's running it ends up believing that they're smart enough that they can just make the decisions and everyone else will just kind of do everything. And that's probably misguided for all companies, but it's the most misguided when you're going the farthest out from what's known and what's clear. So X's goal is to create a moonshot factory for Alphabet. That means making a place, the moonshot part of it is supposed to remind us that we're doing things that are over the horizon, that are sufficiently like uh, science fiction and how they sound, that they might well not be possible. Ideally, that there be things that be really um, audaciously positive about the world in the attempt, if it could work out. And the word factory is supposed to remind us that we're trying to systematize that process and make it as efficient as possible. And I don't believe that me or anyone is better than random at guessing what the future is going to be like. But I do believe that you can get a large group of people to put a huge number of interesting, mostly wrong and weird and crazy sounding, uh, ideas on a table and then pick through all of those ideas that are on the table and find the few that are the gems that are in fact genius instead of crazy more efficiently than any one person, me or otherwise, could do it. So that's part of the mantra of, of how X works. So it's very important to me that we not sort of have some shared understanding that I'm where all the good ideas come from that would just create learned helplessness on the part of the entire X organization.